the traditional tuna fishing scene in Spain, particularly the Almadraba method, takes place from spring to early summer when the tuna begin their migration from the Atlantic Ocean to the Mediterranean Sea to spawn. Fishing villages along the southern coast, such as Cadiz and Barbate, become lively and bustling as fishermen prepare their tools and boats for the fishing season. The tuna catch during these expeditions is significant, playing an important role in Spain's fishing industry. The Almadraba method, which dates back to the Phoenician times, has been preserved over centuries, aiming not only to supply tuna to the local markets, but also for export to international markets. The process begins with setting up a large, thick, and long net system that creates a corridor to guide the tuna into shallow waters. A team of fishermen uses small boats to surround the area with the net, working together to skillfully maneuver it and direct the tuna into the final dead zone, where there is no escape. Once the tuna are in the narrow section of the net, the fishermen work together to pull the net in. The large, powerful tuna are trapped and the fishermen use tools to lift them onto the boats. This process requires strength and seamless coordination among the crew, creating a lively scene full of energy, rich in culture and tradition. The Almadraba method is not just a way of earning a living, but also a cultural heritage of Spain demonstrating the harmony between humans and nature. Once everything is ready, the fishermen start pulling the net. The small boats move in coordination, circling around the tuna, using the large net like a massive ring gradually closing around the school of fish. The fishermen adjust the speed and distance of the boats to ensure the net envelops the entire school without causing them to thrash around too much. Meanwhile, others on board begin to pull the net tighter with a combination of manual labor and machinery. The hum of engines, mixed with the fishermen's shouts to coordinate direction and net pulling, creates a bustling, determined atmosphere. As the net tightens, the fishermen can observe the tuna within. The large tuna, now surrounded, begin to panic and dart around frantically in a futile attempt to escape. From the boats, the fishermen watch each fish swim in different directions, stirring up waves in the confined water. The tension builds as they see the tuna struggling against the net, but everything remains under control. The school of tuna is still within the fishermen's grasp. The fishermen continue to pull the net, gradually reducing the space available for the tuna. The net tightens, reducing the area until the fish are clustered closely together with no room to swim freely. The large tuna fish are forced into a dense group, piling on top of one another, creating an impressive sight on the water's surface. By now, the fish are exhausted, some lifting their heads out of the water to breathe, while the net tightens further to ensure none can escape. With the tuna thoroughly confined to a small corner of the net, the fishermen on the boats begin to jump into the water to prepare to load the fish onto the vessel. They wear protective clothing, don gloves, and wade into the cool water, moving close to the tuna contained in the net. This job requires dexterity and individual skill. Standing in the water, they maneuver carefully around the large fish, selecting and securing a rope to the tail of each fish in preparation for hoisting them onto the boats. After securing the ropes, the fishermen on board operate a small crane. 
They lower ropes into the water to attach to the tuna tails, then carefully lift each fish out of the water. The large, hefty tuna are gradually lifted high, glinting in the morning light. The crane can only hoist a few fish at a time, so the process is slow and requires coordination between the fishermen on board and those in the water. Each time a tuna is lifted, the crew on the boat lowers it gently into the storage compartment to ensure it remains intact and safe for further handling. This stage of loading the fish is prolonged because the crane can only lift a few at a time. The fishermen patiently repeat the process of lowering the rope, securing it to the tuna, and hoisting them aboard. Each time a fish is lifted, the fishermen carefully inspect the rope and the fish's condition to avoid any mistakes. This is a laborious, time-consuming task, but the fishermen persist, knowing that every tuna brought aboard is a precious reward for their hard work. With all the tuna loaded, they are neatly arranged in the boat storage compartment, carefully preserved for the journey back to shore. The compartment is filled with the large tuna, the result of the fishermen's perseverance, skill, and teamwork. The fishermen's faces reflect a sense of pride and satisfaction as they gaze at the compartment brimming with fish, knowing their hard work has paid off. Everyone is laser focused on the task. With the winch grinding steadily, the net bag rises from the depths, gradually revealing flashes of silver as fish thrash about inside. The net, heavy with hundreds of fish, inches closer with each pull. The process is labor intensive. Some fishermen manually haul sections of the net, while others monitor the line to ensure it doesn't tangle. The seabirds, sensing an opportunity, dive down around the fishermen, snatching small fish that try to escape. The air is filled with the sound of splashing water and the occasional calls of seagulls circling above. On the large boat, the captain directs the process with a watchful eye. Communication between the boats is constant, with shouts and hand signals used to synchronize movements, ensuring that no fish escapes. As the net bag nears the side of the large boat, excitement rises. They can tell that this is a significantly large catch. The fishermen on the surrounding small boats spring into action positioning themselves strategically to support the, the final stage of pulling in the net. Working in pairs, they push against the sides of the net, guiding it closer to the large boat to ease the strain on the main crew. The smaller boats rock with the waves as their crews grip the nets and press forward, trying to close in the net bag efficiently. Sweat beads on their foreheads as they labor under the morning sun, their faces determined. Occasionally, one fisherman has to pause to steady himself or clear the line of smaller fish that's forming at the top of the net. As the net bag draws close, they begin using long-handled nets to scoop out the largest fish first. These prized catches are lifted carefully and set aside as the fishermen know they're dealing with an unusually abundant haul. The atmosphere is tense but filled with anticipation as each fisherman pulls in the catch with focused intensity. The net's mouth is skillfully drawn smaller to trap the fish and keep the haul secure. The fishermen work with great precision as tightening the net's opening is crucial. If not done correctly, they risk losing a portion of the catch. As the mouth of the net narrows, fish begin to cluster closer together, creating a dense, writhing mass. The fishermen on both the large and small boats coordinate carefully, positioning their nets to catch fish efficiently. One by one, they scoop up fish, using their full strength to lift them from the net to the deck. With so many fish, the process feels endless. Some of the larger fish flop wildly in the nets, splashing seawater on the fishermen, but they press on undeterred. The small boats continue to support the process, adjusting the net's position so that no fish are left behind. With each scoop, they transfer the fish quickly, trying to keep up with the ever-growing pile on the boat's deck the fishermen begin to realize just how massive this catch is, more than any of them expected.
As the catch continues pouring in, it becomes obvious that this haul is far beyond the usual capacity. The sheer abundance of fish is overwhelming, and the job of pulling, sorting, and stacking grows harder with each passing moment. The weight strains the nets, and some fishermen take turns to give their muscles brief moments of rest. The deck of the large boat is now blanketed in fish, leaving little room for movement. Piles of fish surround the crew, and the once orderly deck is now a whirlwind of activity as they scramble to keep the process moving. Despite their growing fatigue, the excitement is unmistakable. The crew members share glances of amazement and satisfaction. This is a rare and valuable catch, one that will have a big impact back at the village. Energized by the thought of their success, they push forward, determined to load every last fish. Meanwhile, the small boats continue providing support, ensuring that any fish near the net's opening are guided back into the main hall. After hours of hard work, the fishermen finally near the end. The net bag is noticeably lighter now, with the last of the fish being lifted onto the boat. Each fisherman puts in one final burst of energy, knowing they are close to finishing. Overhead, birds continue to circle, but with fewer fish left, the frenzy has calmed. The deck of the large boat is packed with fish, a striking sight under the brightening morning sky. The exhausted but triumphant crew takes a moment to savor their accomplishment. As the sun climbs higher, casting a warm glow over the scene, they stow away their nets and begin cleaning up. On the smaller boats, fishermen put away their equipment, feeling a deep sense of achievement. With the large boat now loaded with a record-breaking haul, the captain signals the journey home. Smiling with satisfaction, the fishermen anticipate bringing this incredible bounty back to their village, knowing it will be a catch celebrated for years